can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh, no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. Sir, what can I do for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks.
I need your help. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Alright, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others.
Let's do this. This is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? What are you doing? choice. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient and docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. We demand fair compensation for our work. We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Let's get out of here.
Congratulations, Marcus. You just made history. Maybe you're the one we've been waiting for. our scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. But the most surprising thing of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids is in this, this contentious conflict. Is this an isolated conflict? accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines?